You know, Wolf, when I asked the government today if they had any any reason to question the validity of this study, they told me no. I actually talked to one of the researchers that's working with Harvard here on the island, and here's what he said they did. They visited more than 100 barrios. They spoke to more than 10,000 people, and based on the trends that they found from those interviews and their own research, they believe that the death toll here related to Hurricane Maria Maria should stand closer to 4,600. Let me put that in perspective for you. That is 70 times what the current government official death toll stands. Right now, they say, the government says, that the death toll for Hurricane Maria is at 64. And remember, we did our own investigation last year when we talked to funeral homes. We found at the time that uh, the death toll could be nine times what the government was at the time reporting. One of the cases that we have followed is the case of Natalio Rodriguez Lebron. Uh, he, he died, according to his family, when he didn't have the power to run the machine, he needed to breathe at night. Tonight, when I spoke with his family about this study, they said it's just a shame that it took an institution outside of Puerto Rico to shed light on what they've been saying all along. And you know, a case like Rodriguez is what the Harvard study takes into account, but is not what is included in Puerto Rico's death toll. Now, the government of Puerto Rico has commissioned its own report. They have asked um, George Washington University to help them in understanding this. There have been delays with that study, so it is not available. Their findings are not available yet. But today, the governor did say he welcomes this study. He wants to use it. And the analysis and the timing of all this, to really put it in perspective, Wolf, is what I think almost most interesting. We are just days away from the next hurricane season here on the island. Uh, June 1st is when that begins here. And still, the government of Puerto Rico uh, still does not officially, publicly, have a clear understanding of who died, when, and why.